Let's jump to the war here, and today we've got a saving a disaster battle playing as Karak Kadrin going up against Vlad von Karstein, where he's rank 50, and also the endgame crisis. So he set up an ambush and it failed, and now we've got to deal with the consequences. So I've seen all across uh, various different forums people complaining about how Vlad von Karstein is basically unkillable, and just people asking for Vlad to be nerfed. Now the thing is, Vlad is actually very much beatable if you understand how the game actually works. And in this battle here, we're going to sort of demonstrate that. Let's jump in here and uh, see what we can do. Because we outnumber him in this situation by a small degree, but the quality is on his side mainly around himself and his hero. Now the hero can be killed fairly easily. Vlad, we have nothing that can take him down. Absolutely nothing. In fact, Spending any effort whatsoever to try to hurt Vlad is a complete waste of time. And if you understand that, then you'll not fall into the trap of bothering. Now the thing is, a lot of people will try to build their armies around, oh, we've got to have, cover all of our bases, right? We've got to make sure we can beat anything that we go up against. But you don't, okay? If you go up against something that your army is not equipped to deal with, the best way to handle that is rather than trying with extreme amount of effort to handle a small amount of the enemy forces, you just ignore that threat entirely, at least to begin with, and focus on what you can deal with quite easily. Take out all the other minor threats and then assess it afterwards. And that's what we're going to try to do here. Vlad cannot be taken out early. If we target him with our missiles, with our, with our uh, slayers, it's all just going to be a waste of time. If we try to get our Lord to, like, hit Vlad in the back, it's not going to do anything. Vlad has too much ward save, too much health regeneration, basically unkillable. If you want to fight Vlad, you need to make sure you've got either a huge line of guns ready to just fire at him, or a character strong enough to be able to duel him. Like, if you've got maybe Sigvald the Magnificent, or Archeon, or something like that. Um, obviously, you're not going to have those characters playing as um, Karak Adrin. But if I had Ungrim in this battle, maybe I'd consider having them do a duel, and just, we'll see how we go. But we don't have that, and so we shouldn't waste huge amounts of effort. Now, another thing is that a lot of people will send in their elite units to go and fight the enemy generals, and that's actually a really stupid thing to do, because all you're doing is sacrificing your elite units. What you should be doing if the enemy unit is as strong as what Vlad is here, is actually sending your worst units to go and fight him. Things like miners and dwarf warriors. The reason for that is that Vlad can only dish out damage at a certain rate. He's valued extremely highly, but he can't kill us all in one hit. So by sending trash against him, what we're doing is preserving our, our uh, balance of power so that our best units can focus on what they can actually beat. And then once all of those other things have been dealt with, maybe then we can figure out a way to beat Vlad. So that's what we're going to try to do here. Basically, we're kicking the can down the road because we cannot take him on head on right now. Now, we're the attacker in this situation. So they'll just sit there and wait for our reinforcements. Trying to get them to come at us early would be a stupid idea. Now, he does have the ability... Uh, what's it called? Uh, Storm of the Night. And that's very dangerous for flying units. And we're going to need these flying units to be dropping bombs and stuff. And I don't want to get hit all three of them. I usually like to keep them together. So what I'm going to do here... We're going to be sucking up these shots anyway. There's no getting around it. Let's try to just take it early. And if possible, even dodge it. Yeah, can't really dodge it. So what I want to do here is have these guys here take one hit each. Oh God, it's really damaging. You can only use that on a flying unit. Okay, you're up next. <laughs> Because that's still fighting at full force. We took, lost some hit points, but it's, it's still fighting at full force. Still going to dish out the same amount of damage. So I turned it off fire at will, so that we don't trigger them to charge at us when we're not ready. Also, another thing with this map. Uh, yeah, there's impassable terrain over there. So it might look like, why did you put it in the middle there? Yeah, this is weird terrain where it looks like it's all the same, but that's actually impassable there. Also, another thing I've noticed is trying to waste the enemy's um, Winds of Magic, I find, doesn't work. I kind of feel like the AI doesn't pay for some of their spells. Because I've noticed some characters with next to no Winds of Magic casting way more spells than they should. I think the AI's been cheating. Right. If I stand still... 
Doesn't seem to want to do it. Maybe he'll only use it on the Jaro Bomber. I'm not sure. Alright. Oh, hang on. Wait. Did he use it or didn't he use it? No, he did use it. I heard it, but I didn't see it. I think it must have glitched out. Oh, right, whatever. Okay. So, with our front line here, I want... These guys here are... Okay. Put the the long beard behind here because it's of relatively high value whereas everything here is of low value let that get hit by Vlad and his army first now another thing is that sometimes shooting from the high ground can actually be detriment okay you know what we should do we shouldn't hold too high up on the high ground here or else all of our missile units are going to have a hard time actually shooting just due to line of sight issues You'd think that going higher up on the hills would be ideal, but while it would give you a stat bonus, line of sight is more important. So what I want to do here is just have the absolute bottom of the hill there so that our archers, or that our, our corollers, can shoot without too much trouble. Same thing with the grudge throwers. They need to have a clear line of sight. Because what last thing we want to do here is shoot our own troops. So what we're doing here is putting our worst units up front and then slowly gets more and more elite. This is pretty typical from the historical uh, strategies that the tactics that they would use. You know, put trash up first, wear out the enemy's elite forces, and then send in your elite forces to mop them up afterwards. Not quite the same thing, but you get the general idea behind it, and it does work. Okay, so the units that we really want to get hit first are the miners. Put them up like this. Let them take the brunt of the charge. Let them wear out the enemy. Let them wear out Vlad as much as possible. While everyone else just... Basically, this formation here is designed to die as slow as possible while allowing the missile units to kill as best as they can without any problems. Now, I reckon the flying hero is going to go for our... Lord, but if we put him in amongst the, the slayers here, that's going to be really bad for her. Okay, this one here probably shouldn't... F I'll have a fire at will to begin with, but eventually, probably not. Uh, we want to use square formations here, because they take longer to die unless they're completely surrounded, which they probably will, but we'll see. Alright, we've still got one more use of this to deal with. There it is. Yep. Suck up a bit of damage, but none of them should actually die. Oh, God, it's glitching out. Okay, cool. Yeah, this one here got lucky. Definitely got hit by something. All right, now we're going to trigger them to come at us. So, what do we shoot at? We'll save our bombs for when they actually get into combat over here, but I need to get rid of their flying units first. So, let's aim at the bats. Actually, I think the uh, the brimstone gums are going to be more useful than the skyhammer bomb here. So I'm just just going to use this one. Alright, that should trigger them to come at us. Give them a little bit more, maybe. Okay, good. Here they come. Alright, cool. She's coming in with a vengeance. That's what we want to see. What we can do here is if they, if she's still going to go after, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, fire, 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 we'll just hit. If she's still going to go after the gyro bombers, we may need to land, oh, what's this, what's this, what's this? Uh, that wasn't so bad. I didn't really dodge it very well. Come on, move, 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 move. Oh, come on, land, 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 land. land. Get over to the Slayers. That's it. Come on, land. What's she doing? She's going after these gyrocopters. Land. Oof. Put the damn pity shades on us there. Okay, and the Slayers. Take her out. And you can fight her as well. And then the gyrocopters. Just get out of the way. She's not getting back up. Alright. You, artillery. 
Don't be shooting into this because that's not going to work. Our flanks are protected over here. All right, you guys back up in this, the air. She's not getting back up. Okay, don't bother shooting at her because that's not going to do anything. Alright, these over here, so move them here, and we'll put them back on fire at will. Actually, why don't you start shooting at the Hex Race, because they're very dangerous. Good, she's going down, and well, she did do a fair bit of damage, she did it on trash units. Okay, bats are coming in on seemingly bad targets. Oh, the, this isn't ideal. Come on, let me select the unit I want to select. Oh, no, we're good, we're good. Okay, the bats have targeted one of the gyrocopters. We need to probably land again. Okay, good. She's gone. All right, here comes Vlad. All right, artillery. Time to start using you over here. Okay, Vlad just went right past the miners there, but that's okay. Come on, I thought I told you to land. Come on, land. No, 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 you. Okay, I know these guys aren't firing well. Time to fire. Just didn't want them shooting at bad targets all over the place there. We'll have plenty of time to shoot. Shooting at bad targets is even worse than sometimes not shooting at all. Okay, cool. Gyrocopters are in the clear of the sky now because all the bats are down. Alright, time to start doing some bombing runs. I think over here looks good. Okay, your turn. Okay, let the units over here. Okay, they're eating up our front line, but that's okay. That's what we set up there for. Okay, and we still got your stuff. Let's go. Uh, shooting a zombie with that, probably not a good idea. Over here seems good. Alright, so Vlad is busy fighting some fla uh, slayers over there. I need to get him out of here. Uh, Vlad, that is. I don't know if we hit our own miners, just get rid of these units here. We're doing absolutely tons of damage. This is why I wanted to wait until here. Okay, I want those shot. Okay, now, as for Vlad, let's try to... Oh, I can't get him out. I need to get rid of these idiots here. Okay, trying to focus on Vlad, but we've got to get rid of... What's going on? Why, why isn't... Okay, that's fine. Okay, this unit here is about to get wiped out. Let's pull that, try to preserve that unit. You get back in there. Okay, I've got to try to... Yeah, you get the hell out of here. Vlad will start trying to hunt you down soon. I've got to get rid of the rest of their units. But I've also got to lure Vlad out of here. But the problem is I can't escape this way, so I've got to try to break out. Right, the artillery has gotten a decent number of kills. It's good. Careful about blobbing up too much there. Right, so Vlad so far, yeah, he's doing a fair bit of damage. He's doing a fair bit of damage. Okay, time to use this and blow up that unit there. I didn't want it throwing these bombs around all over the place at the beginning of the battle, causing ha um, havoc across my own lines. You get back in there. Go fight Vlad. Don't really need you anymore. Just preserve balance of power and get over here. What's going on here? Okay, we've got units stacking on top of each other. Okay, that's good enough there. Don't want to kill too many of our own units. Okay, get those slayers. It doesn't matter, there's the army losses. Never did it. I thought I was going to have to lure uh, Vlad away. But what I did here was just ignored Vlad. <laughs> Doesn't matter how strong he is, yeah, now just run away from him. Because he's still going to regenerate even after the uh, army losses has inflicted him. Still got some ammo, shoot him from afar. But yeah, a unit as strong as Vlad, just deny him combat. So this is what I thought was going to have to happen. I thought I was going to have to destroy his entire army, and then I'd be at this point, but I didn't think the army losses would hit this soon. 
and then I thought I would basically do what, exactly what I'm doing now, just deny him combat. Because the Slayers are actually kind of faster than Vlad. Just... Just deny him combat and just shoot him. But do it after the rest of his units are gone. But yeah, this army losses is way sooner than I thought it was going to be. And I'm fairly sure all the Slayers are going to live. And this is why I wanted to keep him well away. Because what Vlad can do is target him. A lot of bounce of power, I can't outrun him. Okay, what I'm going to do here is try to get... Look how quick he's regenerating. Even with the army losses and crumbling. And get Vlad to try to chase after this unit of Slayers. Because he's faster than these other guys. Run him the other way, this way. That's it. This is what I was going to do. Look at that, he actually rallied. <laughs> yeah, that's another thing. People complain, ah, my army lost Vlad and he's still not dead. Look at that, he's still regenerating, the bloody bastard. I'm sure a lot of people will be like, I spent so much of the battle not on fire at will. Yeah, that's because we're also preserving ammunition as well. So it's good that our grudge thrower hasn't uh, used up all of its ammo. That's what enabled us to get the army losses quite early. Alright, he's still... Yeah, he's crumbling. Really slowly. Oh my god. Battle's not over yet. Definitely helps. Never yet. In order to get him to disintegrate, he has to be at um, minus 50 leadership. And just shooting him, we can see here, under missile flank... Missile... Nope. It's not taking a leadership penalty for those shots. You can see here, Vlad can't catch up with the Slayers. 48 speed, and he's tired. And the amount of damage he did in total was only 14,000. Considering how much potential he did have, that's not that much. Of course, most of his other units just did nothing. Have to go with this. Yeah, the grudge throwers did better than... Okay, no, just deny him combat. Because if he gets into combat, do you know what happens? He gets uh, the thirst. And he's got such high stats, we're not going to do any damage to him. So, deny him combat. The old Fabian strategy. If you can't beat your enemy, don't engage them. But legend, that's cheese! And yes, I, I can imagine the... Uh, 3rd century BC Carthaginians. And Romans are cheese. Why not fight fairly? Brr. Fight me fairly or nobles. <laughs> it takes a lot to get rid of Vlad. Just so much resistance here. Because, yeah, another thing, because of Warhammer 3, the regeneration is, is a percentage. The, uh, the thirst doesn't just regenerate 4 hit points a second like it did in Warhammer 2. It regenerates 10 uh, point. 1% of his uh, hit points per second, which in this case here uh, would be 7 hit points per second. So it's a bit, bit better regen for him. Keeping him at full strength for longer. And you can see here, we haven't hit his regen cap yet. I'm just trying to get it down. He, he, is, he is taking damage, slowly. Okay, if I get this guy over here, I'll withdraw him from the battlefield. But we cannot let Vlad get into combat. Well, oh, crap, I ran out of ammo. Oh, you're kidding me! <laughs> God damn it! Uh. Oh, God damn it! Uh, I'll need to like maybe charge him in the back because now he's recovering. He's already recovered a hundred health. God damn it! He might be if he gets to full health, he might be able to stay on the battlefield. I don't want that. You, you just leave. You, you can't do anything. Come on, get out of there. So what I tried to do there was just hit him in the back to get that going again, and it did. 
Uh, even though he is regenerating, he, he does have a limited amount of regen. It, it will eventually run out. God damn it. Okay, well, <laughs> we've got more to do. Alright, I'm gonna need another unit of Slayers. Let's get a, um, sort of mid-health one. Alright, at least the army losses. At least, at least he's uh, crumbling. He's still, because of the bloody blood drinker, he's still regenerating, but he's damaging at the same rate. Eventually, that's going to show up. And then all we have to do is just... <laughs> there it is. Okay, good. Okay. Just have to keep him crumbled. It's actually getting worse for some reason. I wonder why. Because he's not charging at anything at the moment. Okay, that must be why. Yeah, everyone just stay away from him. He was getting a leadership penalty for charging after the Slayers. So withdrawing them was the best thing I could do. And of course, this is a, a problem exacerbated by a very hard battle difficulty, which this is on, because that's giving him extra leadership, but... He's, he's not going to be able to uh, keep this up for much longer. Once, once this line here reaches... Once he runs out of regen, that's it. It's over for him. I mean, this is kind of over for him now. Now, you could definitely argue that this is a bullshit way to deal with Vlad, and I would kind of agree with you. Um, but he's definitely not unstoppable. But yeah, the way to deal with Vlad is destroy his army and lure him away, if possible. Just deny him combat any which way you can. Just like we did with Archeon the other day. Because sometimes you'll just go up against characters that are too strong. Because that can happen in this game. And, you know, it could also happen for the player. You can make characters and go up against characters that are just unstoppable. But there are ways around it. Things that the AI won't ever think to do. There we go. Alright, if we have a look at our army, every unit survived. Barely, but every unit survived. The garrison doesn't matter. And then, do you know what the icing on the cake of this is going to be? When every single one of these units revives after the battle. Because I don't think he was on Force March. So let me guess. I, I guess one unit will get wiped out. Just one. Oh no! Hey! That's pretty good. Both Vlad and the hero, I mean she would have been immortal, are gone. The Hex Wraith is gone. That one came back. Oh, half their army came back. Let's, let's have to count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, 12 units came back. Which, honestly, that's on the lower end. It might be because there, there's like no vampiric corruption here. That might have something to do with it. But those other units are no big deal. Even if it comes back and attacks us again, our missile units are still in good shape. You've still got full capabilities out of the gyrocopters. This one here is damaged, but these two here, they restored it. And here, have that. <laughs> Only for this to end up happening. Well, my job here is done. I took out Vlad. Uh, one disaster battle for you. This honestly looks like it's it's screwed. I, I don't know how you would get through that. But, well, Vampire in Game Crisis, enjoy. At least we got rid of Vlad. For now. Anyway, that's the end of this one here, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned something. Appreciate you. And I'll see you next time. Later, guys.